Okay, everyone, online politics is a very complex game, and it's played at various levels of competitiveness, so I figured we would go through each rank and explain what it's like to play online politics at that rank. All right, so starting off, we've got Iron. This is the bare bottom of the totem pole, right? All of the basics are neglected. None of the three fundamental pillars are even, like, thought about. People at Iron will have no focus on fact-checking. Fact-checking is one of the most basic, fundamental skills in online politics. If you don't do it, then you have no ability to itemize with the right ideology or be any kind of threat to your opponent. And people in bronze, even if they do fact check and get gold, they don't know how to itemize at all. When you start the game, there's only three basic ideologies to choose from, progressivism, unenlightened centrism, and conservatism. And all other items are built out of these ideologies. And in iron, people sometimes don't even realize there's anything beyond the basic starter items. And then you can bet your ass that nobody in iron is playing the objectives. They're just focusing on the individual arguments. You know, and if you step back and you ask yourself, what is online politics really? The core mechanics of the game are individual arguments being mustered against other individual arguments that are all just vying to fight and defend core principles. That's all it is. If you focus too much on the arguments, then you never go after the underlying motivation for making those arguments, and then you never win the game. So just focusing on those three basics will get you out of iron. Unfortunately, once you get out of iron, you end up in bronze. And bronze is worse than iron by seven degrees of magnitude. In Iron, a lot of people just play the game for fun, they don't really care. In Bronze, people obsess about this game, and it's sort of depressing. I've seen people spend hundreds, if not thousands of hours playing the same goddamn game over and over again. Who is up? They go further and further down some 4chan or Tumblr rabbit hole, and they never emerge. At Bronze, people still basically do zero fact-checking. They might know, like, one or two facts that they recycle over and over again and never even know how to bring it up in the right situation. They tend to be obsessively, autistically focused on individual arguments, just facts and logic, facts and logic, facts and logic, and they will often try to win just solely on micro alone, I mean, rhetoric alone. Almost never play the objectives at all. They don't even care why someone's making an argument they just hear the argument and zero in on it and it's like a mosquito to a flame. A classic just pathetic bronze behavior is getting mad at their own teammates, their own friends, family, neighbors for itemizing with a different ideology than the one they pick, right? So they're bronze progressives, bronze conservatives who are like, you chose an ideology different from me? You must be a bad person or an idiot. And it's like, yes, there are trolls and intentional feeders in the game. Some people who start progressivism upgrade their ideology into something that advocates for adding the P into the LGB. But newsflash, most progressives think that's nonsense and just want to, you know, tax capital gains at the same rate as income. And yes, there's some conservatives who want to upgrade their conservatism into ethno-nationalism. But again, most conservatives are just normal people who would rather vote for Donald Trump than live in a country where the P is added to the LGB. So if you can make it out of bronze, you end up in silver. And silver is very mid-tier, mid-wit, where a lot of people are, and it's not terrible, but it's got some issues. The basic are covered, like people in silver will fact check, they'll follow journalists and political figures, generally only ones they agree with, which is a classic silver mistake. But the average silver player does know how to fact check, unlike bronze players. IDF didn't bomb the hospital? Yes it did! Yes it fucking did! Silver players will know all the core ideologies, but will often not know when to pick the right ones. Like you could be playing a game and it's like, yo, hey, it turns out the government wastes a lot of our money, and a silver player will panic and say, oh, okay, well taxation is theft, and Let's burn it all down. It's like, oh my anarcho-capitalism, stop taking so much acid, for real. Silver players do tend to be better at playing the objectives. They sort of understand that, like, people make arguments for a reason. It's not just the arguments you have to address. It's sort of like, maybe this person is talking about gay sex so much, not because they think it's empirically wrong, but because their religion says so. Maybe that's worth addressing. But you still have juvenile behavior in silver. People will lose lane and blame their jungle. Like, let's say you're playing as a CIA director in a matchup against Alex Jones in the top lane, and you're just straight up missing all the fact checks, you're lying about Operation Northwoods and Operation Paperclip, and you're letting Alex Jones get away with it. You can't get mad at your jungler for not deplatforming Alex Jones because you lost a lane. Look yourself in the mirror, ask yourself, why did I allow someone like this to become more credible than me? I'm kind of retarded. 
Another defining limitation of silver players is not even realizing that everyone who's on their team is actually fighting for the same goal, even though it might not seem like it. Like, if your objective is to address the widespread serious problem that technology is melting our brains in pretty unfunny ways, to be honest, progressives will be like, we hate capitalism because it commodifies and monetizes the human experience. Also, fuck religious people. And there'll be religious people on their team like, yo, we're not really in favor of materialism and all that. We think this world is sinful and it rots the soul. That's sort of of our language, I thought we should maybe be aligned. So if you want to get out of silver, just stop fighting your teammates on the things you actually agree on. Now, if you do manage to escape silver, you end up in gold. And gold is actually not that bad, right? At gold, you're getting pretty good with fact checks. You're aware of most major news events in the world and the country you're in, although you probably don't have much nuance or know many of the details. But like, to be fair, you know most of the big headlines. Gold players are going to be familiar with most of the ideology builds and can argue from them if forced. There are gold players who will get here just by being like an incredible one frick pony just pick one argument and use it incessantly and never try anything else the precepts are the obvious example of this no matter what the issue is abortion immigration it always boils down to somehow we need to justify our true beliefs and no epistemology unless you accept orthodox god it's like okay i just gold players will still make basic mistakes that bronze players make like referencing news stories that have already been debunked you will very often see gold level players saying the 2020 election was stolen or no one's performing gender surgery on 13 year olds and it's like Ugh. Gold players will be pretty good at steel manning, which is sort of the essential high-level fundamental skill. But, you know, a lot of them will still think that people who disagree with them have something inherently wrong with them. They're not evil, but they'll say things like, well, conservatism is inherently homophobic. And progressivism is for the overprivileged and physically weak. It's like, yeah, dude, okay, obviously most of the homophobes are going to be conservative. And obviously most of the overprivileged and physically weak are going to be progressive. That doesn't mean all conservatives are homophobes or all progressives progresses are overprivileged and physically weak. Once you get to platinum, this is where the game is sort of at an elite level, right? You've got excellent fact checking. Platinum players are reading books, they're watching documentaries, and watching a lot of competitive play. Because of that, they're able to steel man very well and empathize with the perspective of most other ideology builds, right? A platinum player who might be itemizing for economic nationalism is still going to be able to recognize the value of global cooperation, of globalist tendencies, so on and so forth. Forth. Really, the only thing at Platinum that you can do to improve is just limiting mistakes and really understanding the metagame. This would be metaphysics, epistemology, ontology, right? When you start talking about Heidegger and Wittgenstein and Foucault, then you're really at that substrate where a lot of the meta mind games are based and where the real political argumentation is, if you know what I mean. Now, apparently they added Emerald to League of Legends since the last time I played that fucking game and that just, that's absurd, so we're going to just pretend that didn't happen. And so the next tier in online politics is Diamond. This is elite play. I mean, just straight up, right? These are people who are well regarded by others as like being the go-to person to seek their opinion on controversial issues when they come up. Diamond players will often have their own like personal Google Doc with a ton of personally verified references so they know all of the arguments and can verify and fact check on the spot. Most Diamond players have read The Righteous Mind by Jonathan Haidt or at least seen the TED Talk where he goes over moral foundations theory. You can't really be in Diamond if you aren't familiar with moral foundations. And the hallmark of a Diamond player is just excelling at steel manning opponents, right? Like, they can make a better argument for the side they disagree with than the actual side they disagree with. And they've got intimate knowledge of all of the different builds, anarcho-syndicalism, anarcho-capitalism, neo-fascist techno-feudalism. It's all there. It's all in the knowledge base of a diamond player. And finally, once you're out of diamond, once you reach the Patrick Star elite, 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 elite level of diamond, then you make it to the ultimate pinnacle of online politics, enlightened centric excuse me, challenger. Challenger players literally transcend the realm of facts, right? Perception is reality. Literally, facts don't exist in uh, the objective world in and of themselves. You might think color is an objective fact, but people who are colorblind can't even perceive certain colors, so how can it be an objective fact? Once you understand that, you start realizing that the world is crafted from your own thoughts and influence, and we are one with the universe, so on and so forth. Challenger players do not even talk about political ideology. They solely itemize for mythological and religious archetypes. And then perhaps the 
the hallmark of the challenger player is that they actually just stop playing online politics altogether because they actually go out in the world and make a difference in the very issues that, you know, most people sit on their ass and talk about online, right? So if you're that good to the point where you can get out of playing online politics because you're better than everyone, that's when you actually go make a difference and don't just waste everyone's goddamn time and give everyone else mental brain cancer. So that's what it's like to play online politics at every rank. If you have any issues with what I've said, then you can fucking take it up with my secretary, me.